What's going on guys? Bart here with Tully Television. We're going to do a quick video today. Uh, just a little tidbit of wrestling news, so to speak, out of the WWE. Uh, it's come out uh, within the last year or two that the Hell in the Cell, or Hell in a Cell, pay-per-view premium live event, uh, that's not going to be a premium live event anymore, a pay-per-view on uh, the schedule, Triple H, who is currently in charge of the creative, is um, so I'm make sure this is straightened out a little bit more. Um, Triple H wants it to be a special occasion match now. Um, it's been kind of stupid to have it as a pay per view anyway, because no matter who's feuding, what the story is, you had need to fit in a hell in a cell match. And that's just silly. Uh, it's supposed to be a specialty match. It's supposed to be once every couple of years, if that. And I think Triple H's history with the Hell in the Cell, uh, Hell in the Cell, Hell in the Cell <laughs> match, he's been in most of them, if not all of them. Not all of them, no. What am I talking about? Uh, <laughs> he's been in most of them. Uh, he's faced people like The Rock, Triple H, uh, Triple, Triple H versus Triple H in a Hell in a Cell. Uh, Undertaker, other opponents. He has a special um, affinity for this match. Um, so I think that's why he's doing it to kind of uh, eliminate a lot of storyline issues and the uh, special connection he has to this match. I think it's a good move. Triple H has been really uh, doing a lot of great things uh, since coming in charge of creative. And I hope it continues. Uh, smart move. My favorite Hell in a Cell match was the Mankind versus Undertaker match. You let me know what your favorite Hell in a Cell match has been up to date. Uh, do you think it's a good idea to eliminate it as a pay-per-view? Yes, no, maybe so. Let me know down below. And until next time, peace and